scour Pinterest and the internet to bring great food ideas. Um, today we're going to make a different type of breakfast. I just did this freezer. And I want to take a couple things out to see if my waffles are back there. Because I know I put them on this shelf. Waffles, I'm going to grab them. That's all I need from this freezer. Those are bananas in case you're curious. I save money by freezing my bananas. Because I use them in smoothies, milkshakes, as well as banana bread and muffins. For the refrigerator, you're going to need eggs. My husband's going to the recycle plant today. We've got a boatload of empty bottles and cans. In New York, we like to return our bottles to the redemption center because you get a penny more than the supermarket. we will grab some our breakfast sausage. I'm going to be using two links and we're going to chop them up. We're going to make a breakfast a taco with the waffles today and some scrambled eggs. And I saw this on Pinterest and I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to get the pan screeching hot. Sprinkle a little bit of salt down, a teaspoon. I always put black pepper on my eggs. This is a very old non-stick pan. That's why I do two times around. I always use a fork to whisk up the eggs, and I'm going to use a three eggs for this. I'm going to crack open three eggs. If you save your eggs for the garden, go ahead and do that. Or the blue jay. The blue jay's female eat the eggs to feed their young that are nursing, if that's the term they use for birds. Now that this is screeching hot, we're going to reduce the heat because we're not going to burn these eggs. Although I've done that on camera. And bacon. Sometimes things don't come out the way I hope. I do three teaspoons of black pepper. And this is my second favorite spice next to garlic. Now you're going to take your fork and whisk it right up. My aunt always put a tablespoon of milk in with this, but I don't because I feel that it firms up better and solids up. As if you're going to make an omelet, you're going to let that solidify. And when it gets solid, we're going to take the fork and we're going to break it up into scrambles. Meantime, we're going to work on the, the waffles. Set that into your microwave for about 30 seconds to 40 seconds until it's soft all the way around. If it has a crack in it, as long as it's not too bad, you should be able to fold it over with the ease to make it into a taco form. It's starting to solidify. It's looking really good. Take your fork and just roll it around. This is a very old Teflon pan once again. So I'm not overly concerned with the fork scratching over it. We've been looking into purchasing new pans. I find that some of the newer pans aren't as well made and don't work as well. I'm going to have to look for a decent name brand. I'm going to look into the Pioneer Woman because I absolutely love her Dutch oven. I'm even looking into Rachel Ray. She also has a great line of cookware. We'll let this sit on the heat for about a minute or so. The microwave's letting me know that the waffle's done. Go ahead and take that waffle out. I'm going to drop it on my plate. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to remove the eggs from the heat and we're going to drop the sausage down. Be 
very careful if things drop onto your burner because you don't want it smoking. Drop the sausage on at the same frying pan. So this is fully cooked sausage, so you just really heat and eat it. And I turn the sausage over every so often. I like to press down on it. When you hear the sizzle, you know it's cooking. I'm cooking this on medium heat. Cheese with my eggs. I'm going to take one slice of cheese, put it on the waffle, and we're going to add some scrambled eggs. And when the sausages are done, we're going to cut them up into bite sized pieces to add in with, with the eggs. If you wanted to, you could add onions and bell pepper or shredded cheese to your breakfast waffle, to your breakfast taco waffle. Say that 10 times fast. Turn that sausage down to low. You're going to take your cheese and place it. You're going to take your cheese and place it right onto the waffle. Sausage cool down on the hot plate. You're going to take some eggs. You're going to add it on to the waffle. Three eggs can make two of these. I'm just going to have them on the side. I'm going to cut up some sausage and then I'll show you what it looks like as a taco. You're going to cut your sausage into small pieces. And if I were going to have a second one, the other sausage would go on that taco, but that's just going to go on the side. Now I'm going to fold it up and show you what it looks like. Here's what the breakfast taco looks like. Eggs and sausage busting out of it with melted cheese. And you can get a little tiny container and dip it into pancake syrup. I thought that was pretty awesome. The breakfast taco that I found. Real easy to do with everything that you have on hand, few ingredients. Try this now. Mmm, this is really good. This video, a really great, easy way to have waffles with eggs and something new and different. Taco waffles. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. When we get to 1,700, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for new subscribers, one for people who comment. Make sure you subscribe and comment and comment often. If you're new, introduce yourself. We like to give out gift cards every 100 subscribers, and we're about halfway there. So make sure you subscribe. You need to be a U.S. resident, and obviously you need to be subscribed. We're also going to be selling that. Let us eat t-shirts. If you are interested, go to Facebook, like my page, send me a message. We have limited quantities on large and extra large and mediums already. They're $14.99 plus shipping and handling. U.S. residents only for the t-shirts as well as the giveaways. If you won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days in order to qualify once again. If you don't answer me within two days, you'll be disqualified and another name will be chosen to keep things fair. The t-shirts. If you'd like to see what the logo looks like before I do a reveal of the t-shirt video, message me on Facebook at Let Us Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family, or email me, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com, and I will show you a photo. All that information is in my description box and down below. Thank you for watching.